five times less cheaper than what my actual four-year college in my area was going to charge me. Say what? Say what? What's up, you guys? It's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. Okay, so you guys, if you haven't already done so, please go ahead right now and subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. But today, we are going to be talking about taking prerequisite courses at a community college versus a four-year college. Everyone is concerned, like, oh my goodness, like, are they going to accept my four my, my community college credit? Do I have to do it at a four-year college? And, I mean, I can only speak for myself, okay, you guys? So, for me, what I did was I did my research. I looked at the different schools. I looked to see if it was specific and saying, hey, your prerequisites need to be completed at a four-year college. Or, you know, no, they could be completed anywhere. Or it didn't specify at all. So, with respect to all of that, I looked at the schools, I went to their different websites that I was interested in, and I did my research, and I saw that most schools don't really specify. And the only thing that they really specify on is that you had to have completed your bachelor's degree at a four-year institution, obviously, um, and an accredited one. So you needed to have a bachelor's degree. And so if you did that in like overseas or internationally, there's a whole process going through that to make sure that you know your classes are verified and there's like a matching and all this stuff done to see that yes it does meet the specific requirements but other than that the schools that i was applying to weren't specific about that so of course why would i sit up here just recently you know graduating from a four-year college to now go and retake prerequisite courses that i already did that's stupid you're stupid stop being stupid at another four-year college that's costing me like five plus hundred dollars a credit say what and i'm taking these courses that are four credit courses with labs that just makes no sense you know it's a waste of money it's gonna be ri like ridiculously expensive already as it is applying to pa school you know through the whole CASPA system and sending off your applications that's an expensive process and that's not even adding any supplemental application payments that you may have to pay and then if you do get accepted or when you do get accepted right let's you know speak life into this so when you do get accepted Accepted, then sitting up here and putting out like seat deposits and then putting out rent deposits and all these other things so you have to really be mindful of that you have to take all that into consideration therefore is it beneficial for you to take it at a four-year college or take it at a community college I mean for me when I took my microbiology at the community college it wasn't any less difficult than taking it at my four-year college the only difference was that i was already familiar with the material so it made it a little bit easier for me because that was part of my major but at the same time i was still learning the same material i was still going through the same process and believe me when i say it i still had to study my behind off okay i was having a test almost every week so therefore at the end of the day i needed to make sure that i was well versed in the material and so for me i i understand Understand the the I guess the qualm that people may have it's like oh it's a community college so you know it's not up to the level as a four-year institution and you're not learning at the same level but you are depending on the hour courses and the credit hour courses that you're taking so if you're taking a four credit microbiology course at a community college more than likely it's going to be very 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 similar to the one that you're taking at a four-year college it's just going to be if you do it over the summer obviously it's going to be very condensed but if you're taking it throughout the school year i really don't see what the issue would be so definitely my suggestion is look at the schools that you're applying to definitely do your research on them make sure that they will accept those credits and those courses i know all the schools that i applied to sure did but i made i like i made sure and i asked those questions before i even applied because i didn't want to waste my money in applying to a school that would not accept the credits that i've already done 
especially since I already had a bachelor's degree with those credits and those courses um, already accounted for. So maybe that made the difference, I don't know, but you definitely have to make sure that you understand that for yourself so that you're not making a, a, a decision that might actually put you at a disadvantage because they want all of your prerequisites done at a four-year college. However, from my understanding and from my experience, and again, I'm only speaking from my experience, that was not an issue. So by all means, go to your community college that you're in county for and sign up for those less expensive courses. I literally paid like $165 per credit for these four credit courses and three credit courses and, and labs that I had to do um, over the summer because it was so much cheaper. I mean, it was five times less cheaper than what my actual four-year college in my area was gonna charge me. Say what? Say what? It's just a better option, especially when you're trying to apply to PA school in the very near future. Saving money any way you possibly can is essential, okay? So I hope this helps you guys. I hope it answers um, a lot of your questions obviously I always end up saying do your research because honestly that is what it's all about you have to go and make sure that everything is catered to you so definitely make sure that all the schools that you're looking at will accept all of the things that you have to offer but other than that you know just go ahead and make the decision that's best for you thank you guys so much for watching and again joining me on this journey please continue to just Follow this journey with me, see how I make it through clinical year, and I'll be keeping you guys posted on all of that. If you have any questions or comments, look, go ahead right now, leave them in the comment section below. And um, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!